Hi, welcome to Creative Make Some Household Waste. We thought we would share how to make some wings with you. We've been raiding the rubbish again and we found a nice cereal box and we thought we could transform this cereal box into a beautiful set of wings. These wings can take whatever form you like. The other things you will need are a nice big set of scissors and lots of different publications, newspapers and magazines, magazines with lots of different colours and images and we found some dried flowers, dried flowers, feathers and different coloured tissue paper. Here's some old shells in here, these may come in handy for collaging and our favourite PVA glue. We've pre-mixed the PVA glue with a paintbrush, one part PVA to two parts water and now it's time to create the wings. So cut out the long length panel on one side of the cereal box. Then continue to cut out the next length. Leave one of the long edges in place and open the box out and you can already see how your wings are going to flap. Fold along the very centre of the long length to enable a really nice even shape when we create our wings. Next find a piece of newspaper and it's time to create the shape and design of your wings. Using the middle as your centre point, cut from the outer opening edges and shape your wings. You could create bat wings, butterfly wings, fairy wings. Choose the shape you like. You could do some research to look into the kind of style of wings you would like to make. When you have created your template, place that inside the cereal box and go and get a pen, a nice felt tip or a graphite pencil will do, and draw around the shape. Make sure the wing template is in the middle of the piece of cardboard so you can get the flapping shape with the wings when they are finally created. As you can see, the design of the wings is on my cardboard and I just need a big set of scissors and it's time to cut the shape out. Again, you might need some help with, from someone with strong hands and mind your fingers when you're snipping. As you can see, our wings are taking shape and ready to flap. Now it's time to get them covered. Clear your workspace and select some collaging materials. Choose nice images. I found some nice flowers in this magazine and I will cut out the nice coloured bits in different shapes. You could go for organic leaf shapes or round circles or squares. Whatever you like, it's up to you. Keep snipping to create a really nice pile of collage materials. You want to get all the snipping out of the way before you have to get covered in PVA glue, otherwise all the paper will get stuck to you. Enjoy this process, explore different shapes. I've made some circles and some squares and really enjoyed looking through for different images that would suit the look of my wings. Go to town, enjoy it. When you have finished snipping and your materials are ready, clear your workspace again and get the PVA ready. Put a layer of PVA on first and then a piece of pre-cut material and then a layer of PVA over the top. This helps to strengthen the wings and means you can build your collage as you go.
keep covering with the old mag magazine collage materials and when you've got some good coverage why not introduce some colour. Here I'm using some nice brightly coloured tissue paper to edge the wings, all covered over with a nice layer of PVA. Lift your wings up from the table when you can and paint around the edges with the PVA glue. This helps to tuck in any loose bits of paper and gives your wings a lovely finished look, just like so. Please feel free to add any petals and look, our wings are flapping. And finally, it's time to add the arm straps. I found a really big strong needle, but a knitting needle would do, or of course the scissors. You could always put a bit of plasticine underneath as you push the scissors through to the other side of the wings. I found some old florist string and this will be used to make the arm strings so I can wear my wings later. This might take some time to make the hole as they become quite strong with the PVA glue and all the layers of paper um, but find someone to help you and you'll get there in the end. For a finishing touch, I've attached some feathers, tied on with a little piece of string, and there they are, finished wings. And there they are, lovely feathers, beautiful flower pictures, ready for somebody to wear. Enjoy! Bye!